Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a picture in Mouse Guard. <laughs> so I picked um, this picture here and I'm going to try to do it with some ink tents and see how it goes. So I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit and we will get started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start on the leaves and I pick out um, three colors. So I have the felt green 1530, leaf green 1600, and hooker's green 1520. And I just scribbled them on my little plastic sheet. And we're just going to use the water brush here and apply it. Now we've got a really light green and we're going to hit some of these with that. Ooh. Here see how far we get here. I am going out this evening and my husband is picking me up really soon but I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to color. <laughs> so I'm getting the um, the ones that are underneath with the what color was this one? The leaf green. And then we're going to add in some of the um, that bright, bright green here. Kind of diluted with the leaf green so it's not so bright. And just have some of these leaves um, different colors so they look like they're being hit by sunlight. seems to be a ladybug up there. So just going around and painting the leaves. It doesn't matter that I go over this. Dark is pretty forgiving. There are some leaves underneath there too. I really wanted to see how it was to paint in this book. I'm sorry, you're not even seeing what I'm doing. <clears throat> it tells you that I'm having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't even look and see what you can see. I'm so sorry about that. This is going to be a fun book to paint in, or ink in, I guess I should say. <laughs> so we're just going in and picking up the different colors of green and adding them in. Hopefully I'll have a little more time to do Ooh, bright, bright green. A lot of leaves. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. 
We're going out to see a play tonight. Downtown Seattle. So sorry, I'm not doing good. It's a kind of a big book here. Tall. <clears throat> I'm trying to kind of add color here and there so it looks like I planned it, but when I have one color on the brush, I have to kind of go all over the place. Kind of like when I did the rocks in the other picture. You don't want them all to look the same, but you kind of want to have some color here and there. And it looks like I'm going to have to put more pencil down on the page here, so... I really like using the palette because I don't I have a little more control, number one, of the color I'm putting down. But it um, saves the pencil a lot too. And more time for me to, or less time for me? It's time for me to meddle around on the paper so I wouldn't have to put the pencil down and then activate it. I can do it all at one time. Save this step. darker up here. Try to get the leaves underneath the other leaves with the darkest color. And try not to miss any of the leaves. <laughs> That's the hardest part. Okay. I think that's probably good enough. I'm gonna darken this one. And there's a little guy under there. Okay. For right now, I think that's good. I need to get um, some more colors out. I'm going to do the um, rocks kind of in a gray and a brown tone. Pretend this is like um, hay. It looks more like hay than grass. And then, of course, the building's going to be done in the gray tone also. And then I've got some ladybugs. I've got one here and here. So we can color those in, and then we will get to the mouse. So if you hold on a second. So I got out the um, neutral gray 2120, a oak 1730, and fern 1560. Put those on the palette too. I will try to remember to um, put all this information down below. So I'm mixing the oak and the gray together on the palette here adding water to it, and then we will see what color we get here. It's a nice color. Okay. Darkest spot where the shadows are going to be, and then just a quick wash over the rock. I'm going to do every other rock here. And 
and we don't want them all the same color so add in a little different colors to them put a little green on this one water seems to do really well in this book so I'm happy about that we'll go up here in the rockery up here and since I added a little green in those it's okay I don't need to be too precise on that Any spots like this little happy mistake I can fix with a pencil. And then we'll go over on the stairs over here and we'll do those. brown in this area here oops went over the line there that's all right then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put a little more of the oak down let's see which one's the oak oak is the brown color and it works really well I like that um, tone with the gray so we're gonna add a little more water and just take this arch all the way up and put some in here around the ladybug so what I'm doing is um, mixing some brown in here and doing a couple of uh, the areas and then we'll go with the green and do some of those. It just gives a little bit of variation between the two. a whole bunch of leaves there it's okay we got some green here so we can just add it in and then go down the pillar here it's raining outside <laughs> guy next door loves to drive his truck fast you're wondering what that noise is if you heard it it's my neighbor okay i think we need to get this rock a little bit better here Oop, may have gotten that a little dark that's okay 
Okay, this area here we can just do a wash of color because it's pretty dark and you're not going to see much of anything. So I'll just add an extra bunch of water in the ink tents I have here and mix them all together and use them up. Okay. Now we're going to do the um, kind of hay area down here. So we're going to throw in an extra brown. And my favorite is Saddle Brown, so we'll throw some of that on the palette here too. And mix that in. And with everything else we've got going here. And just kind of add it in. Kind of um, dark is in the dark areas. And then just kind of let it come off the brush the rest of the way. And like I said, if anything gets a line in it that we don't like, we can take it out with a pencil. And we can bring it up on the stone too if we want. Into those leaves even. Okay, so now we've got the ground work done and then we're going to go into our little mousy. When he's got to uh, have a little bit of pink in his ear. So we're going to put down a little, oh, red violet. I'm very little, very little. <laughs> And we're just going to put a little bit here around in his ear there. And maybe a teeny, 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 tiny bit here on his nose. And the teeny bit on his feet. And if we have any on his hands there. Okay, then we're going to go in with um, kind of the brownish gray tones on him also. So I have the gray here. Just going to add more water to it and bring it over to the brown. And then we're going to give him a little bit of coloring here. Okay. I'll give you a little color on that here, a little up here, a little inside. Now this will dry. Um, lighter that's his book let's get some more fur over here and then we'll see how he dries there before I go in and do any more See if that paper is peeling or if that's just his. Fur line. Just going to darken him down. A little more gray in it there. He's got a little coat on. And his book. Mm -hmm. Mix up these browns. 
see if we can't get his book a little brown here. Add more water to that and lighten it up on his pages. There we go. He's got a little pen here. I'll put a little darkness on that. <coughs> Excuse me, and then um, maybe we'll put the blue cape on him. It's kind of got a blue area here. So we got bright blue. That may not be a good choice. <laughs> I want something a little more subdued than that. Lagoon is bright too, so we have all the colors look really good on the tips. This is iron blue. That might be better. We'll mix these two up and see what we get. That's a nice color. Water it down a bit. Put that on his... Little area there. And we'll pull some of that down in here. Oops, a little bit shaded here. Okay, now what is this? Um, is this another little book over here? We can color that in brown. Or green, whatever color I just picked up. And that looks like a little bottle of water or something that he's got sitting there. Could be an ink bottle. Okay. It's looking real cute. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take just a little bit of um, pencil when he's dry and touch up some of the leaves, a little bit of him, a little bit of his shirt, and heavens, that's about it. I think it's looking kind of cute. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, my, this area down here is drying. I got out uh, some polychromos. They just happen to be sitting on my desk, if you're wondering why I'm always reaching for them. I haven't gotten a case for them, but I don't think I'm going to because I really like the metal case with the little handles that the little trays come out with, and they're padded on the bottom so they protect the pencils. And I can lay them out on the side of my desk. <laughs> it's really easy to pick out colors. <clears throat> but I need to get my Prismas back out in a little while. So I've picked a green opaque, chromium green opaque, and that's 174, olive green yellowish 173, and earth green uh, 172. And I'm just going to add some uh, shadowing on these leaves up here. So depending on which uh, leaf I pick, these colors can go nicely with them. So if I didn't get the whole leaf, I can color in leaf that I didn't get, darken some areas on some leaves. So depending on which color I had down here, I can take one of these shades and give it a little de definition or fix the little veins that I didn't um, get when I was coloring them. I can also go in and get the uh, vineage. Vineage? Is that a word? <laughs> the vine that I didn't get painted in here. So I'm just going to go around and do that in all the leaves. If the leaf or the pencil I'm using isn't dark enough, I'll just go to a darker color. 
and do the same thing. So kind of tedious, but that is pretty good base coat down on all of them, so I don't have to color each and every one. And this is just kind of giving it a little more oomph to the page. just kind of doing a little uh, V area in these leaves to darken where it hits the stem. It adds a lot. And switching uh, the pencils kind of gives us the same look as what we were after when we were doing the leaves to begin with. So that's what I'm going to do on those. Seems drier down here. You don't need to see me do that on every single leaf. But those are the colors I'm going to use on that. I also got out grays to do uh, some more work on the rocks and the mouse. So I took out warm grays. So we have in order uh, warm gray 1 to 70. Warm gray 3, 272, and warm gray. <laughs> 1V, which is uh, 273. I'm trying to remember if it's on this side, does it subtract from the 5, making it a 4? Roman numerals. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start on the little mousey here. And I'm going to use the lightest color, and I have to get the camera down a little further so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to just touch up his nose area here. I'm not really going to put fur uh, flicks on him. He's a little small for that, but I'm just going to add... This is a very light shade of gray in areas. I'll probably get out some white and highlight his ears here too. So then we'll go with um, number three. A little bit darker. We can't blend in some of those lines that I put in with the ink tints. Okay, and then the darkest, which is four, I'm guessing. <laughs>
Okay, then we'll go back in with the medium color. Excuse me, and then we'll blend this out a little bit. And then the lightest color. So we're just going around and blending it kind of with that. Now I'm going to use a little white and the white is 101. I'm just going to touch up his little white cheeks here. Add a little bit of white outline here. Maybe blend that if I can a little better. And a little up here on his forehead area. arm be down on his feet. Okay, I'm also going to bring in a little pink. Um, what is this one? It's a uh, pink matter like 129 and I'm just going to kind of like highlight the um, pads of his feet. Little hands. Little nose a little more, and then go over it in white just to knock it back a little bit, but still have it there. Okay, and then with the same gray tones that I had picked up, I've got the three one three and four that I colored him in. I'm just going to take it and color in the uh, some of these areas on the rocks also. So anywhere like I missed this little section up here we can put in the um, darkest tone up there and then kind of bring it down as like a cracker. Just a a crack, not a cracker. <laughs> and then this area that I kind of a little too much ink tents on, I'll just bring some of that out further with the darker gray and then blend it in. with the lightest color and just give it some definition. So I'll be working on the uh, stones that way. They already have little uh, spots in them so I don't have to use my stamp. And I'll finish up the um, leaves here. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, black ink on his eyes to bring them out a little bit. He needs a little just kind of uh, faded from when I put the ink on it. The um, little fabric thing, just bring in the little, this is uh, <sighs> <laughs> I'm only going to get you to focus, cover up all the black back there. This one it's a blue tone, two, four, seven. <laughs> I'll leave the name of it down in the description box with the others. Just kind of darken it around under his chin. A couple of the folds. And right around his lap here. Bring up some of these wrinkles. I might touch up his white with a um, prisma color. But other than that, I'm just going to finish doing the leaves and we are going to throw in some dark red on our ladybug up here. So we've got two. So 
to the darkest pressure there and then lighten it on both sides our other, oh we got three I did not notice that so over here we have another one And then we have one up here. I don't know if you can see that one up here. <laughs> so another little one up here. So we just want to get those guys colored up. There we go. I don't see any others, but if they show up, I will be coloring them in. And that'll be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you uh, coming on my first page here. <laughs> coming along on the journey with me, doing the ink downs. It did not crinkle the page too much. I do have a little bit, but a little weight on that will um, take that right out. So, hee <laughs> hee, another book I can do my ink downs in. And I'm, like I said, just gonna finish up the leaves and I'll show you the picture completed at the end of the video. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Um, if you want to be notified when that happens, ring the little bell. If you want to subscribe, yay, if you already are, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you like, give me a little thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care everyone. Bye now.